but uh, in terms of those big, you know, those big LA Hollywood stories kind of thing, like OJ Simpson or like Michael Jackson's sex abuse or even the Manson family murders, I reckon Tom Cruise is going to be involved in one of those at some point in his life. Yeah. Like a big, like a body gets found at Tom Cruise's estate and it turns into this big, like, like singularity of media attention or whatever. <laughs> like that. Maybe Justin Bieber gets found dead at Tom Cruise's estate. Imagine the theories and stuff on that. Well, maybe he'll be one of the first guys going on a private trip to space and just explode in the sky like a star. <laughs> like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing as he explodes into the sun. <laughs> oh, jeez. Huh? Or maybe he'll set it up so, like, his whole production team lets him ride on the outside of the spaceship in a spacesuit. <laughs> and he'll cool. be the dopest cunt ever. Yeah. And he'll probably just... <laughs> he'll just fucking die. <laughs> like, I was the first man in space furthest outside of the plane interior and stuff. Like, that's his record. But do you reckon he's on some shit? Like, this is what I was wondering. Like, to us, Scientology is... Pharmaceuticals like, are still fucking drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah, but no, his whole I love thing, that whole, like, I'm clean and don't do all this shit, and then you're on, like, Valium and no, well, Percocet the, the and the all these painkillers and all this shit. And you're like, yeah, but I don't do drugs. Scientology supposedly <laughs> says not to have these drugs, I believe. Yeah? I believe they're all so you could actually be straight it's like edge. straight edge, and that's what I'm intrigued about. I'm like, oh, you're If he is actually straight edge, that's fucking hardcore. What He's if, on the drug called Tom Cruise. I want to know. Like, it's easy to laugh at him about, like, adopting a stupid ideology, but he's on a journey that none of us might get to which is like can you go so deep into believing this ideology that it actually becomes true for you yeah. and I think that might be true like he's like he will die sort of going exploding into a thousand Thetan suns or whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck that like glorious afterlife that thing is or maybe he'll try and go rejoin all the lost alien souls and dive into a fucking volcano I'd say he's pictured it in it <laughs> you know the edge of tomorrow and <sighs> You can see why it's crazy if you have that sort and of... And if he's got those those sus tendencies or whatever, then I can imagine him going for the whole speedos, you know, oh, yeah, diving. Yeah. yeah. He goes along with it and then add yeah. the lava pits and alien souls and shit. Yeah. I reckon we've sold him. I'd like to see him in speedos, laser-sided pistols and night vision goggles. <laughs> um, I'm genuinely... <laughs> But I don't know. Is is it? I want to know. Does he feel moments of doubt like the rest of us, or is he? When you get on this cult shit, I reckon he does. I just reckon his focus is so fucking. His focus is pretty hardcore. Yeah. So he probably just goes for long periods. But he's never really listening or talking to anyone too. No, he's focused on himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. How but... am I gonna figure this shit out? <laughs> If I get on the outside of a plane, how much money is it going to cost for them to do so much safety that there's no chance I'll die and I'll seem like the coolest guy in the fucking world? How can I best represent Tom Cruise to Tom Cruise's fans? Fuck. <laughs> TC's definitely got a, got a big mirror. It's probably one of those fucking crazy mirrors from the fun house. And it makes him look so tall. <coughs> Wearing platforms and shit as well, too. That's my boy. Is that Tom He's choking on the mic. <laughs> choking on the mic. Oh, shit. I thought it was Tom Cruise. It's Jay-Z here. <laughs> They'd be good in a movie together. <laughs> I need you to uh, stop looking at me like that, friend. 